Hey, hey, what is up, Andrew? It is YouTube here. And today we've got another anonymous mystery PayPal request. You son of a bitch. Now, I have seen this drummer pop up in my recommended uh, videos on YouTube before, and I've, I've kind of avoided it on purpose because I had a feeling I was going to get to him. Now, it is Ricardo Merlini, or if I do my Kiwi accent, Ricardo Merlini? It's just... That's how we do it. Got to do that upward inflection at the end of a name or at the end of a sentence to get the correct Kiwi New Zealand pronunciation. Merlini. Just think donkey at the end of a phrase. Now, I'm already going to go ahead and subscribe. And um, yeah, I he's obviously got some killer hands. And I believe some people are saying the fastest hands in the West. That's what she Let's said. check it out. 150, it's showing us. That is some control of your wrist hand. actually this pad, the underside of a real fill pad. Look at that. So this is his warm up, loosen up wrist thing. That's what he said. Interesting. Already. I can't do that with two hands. Wow. Let's back that up. What in the name of God? Now that's only the warm up. That was only 150. How? See that finger engagement there? Oh my lord. So just to let you know, if you're not familiar with a real feel pad, the underside of the pad is a bit harder. That's what she said. So I guess therefore, I've, you know what? I've actually never used the underside of a real feel pad. Um, so it's a, it's a firmer, uh, more solid rubber. That's what she said. And uh, actually I'll link to the real feel pad so you can actually get this exact pad. And you know what? If you subscribe to my channel within the next five minutes, you'll be able to do this on that real fuel pad that you buy. I promise, guarantee. I'm pretty sure I could do this. No big deal. Clean. Wow. So if you're not catching what he's doing there, he's playing in unison, obviously with both hands hidden at the same time. Very, very hard to do that cleanly. Holy smokes. At that speed as well. I mean. Good God. One seventy. Look at him smiling away.
Here we go. <laughs> oh my lord. Now, one thing I do want you to check out, keep an eye on his wrists. And if you're really baffled by how he's doing this and, and the finger engagement, you know, we, we actually don't get a good shot of his fingers here. I need to check out another video to, to see if he actually breaks down this technique. But keep an eye on the wrist and the lack of wrist movement. So, sorry, Connor. Connor's 75,000 sub plaque that he gave me. <laughs> so when most people think of um, just simply hitting a drum, they think of that that whip motion or, um, you know, molar whip and then um, or push pull and, you know, rebound it hits. There's no real wrist going on here at all. So at this speed, at this very quiet dynamic, very, very finger driven. Let's just check out the last speed that he did again and keep an eye on the lack of wrist movement. Really interesting. Yeah, here we are at 170. So when he plays slower, you'll see his wrists moving. No wrists here, fingers. Very little wrist, all fingers. When he plays the slower grouping, <coughs> When he does the hand to hand, more wrist. Here, a bit more wrist. And then at the double speed, no wrist, fingers. Wrist, fingers. Wrist, fingers, wrist, fingers. Yeah, I mean, we would need to talk to Ricardo himself to uh, get some of the the secrets and the tips on how to get this i'm sure he's gonna say what every other great drummer in the world says practice practice i mean there is no substitute for practice at all now i cannot play even close to that to that fast um, with singles or doubles or any rudiment for that matter so I'm not the person to really break this down at all. But what I can tell you is he's practiced a lot. People always default to the uh, technique and the talent and all these extra things that actually avoid the work. And actually, I, I saw a video with Grayson Decrutman, who's also got a tremendous single stroke role. And he, he said the same thing. It's just, you know, it's, this is just work. It's just practice. By practicing, you develop your technique. By actually trying things, failing, you, and then trying something else, trying a different avenue for your singles, you will find what works for you. Now, what works for me might not work for him. What works for him might not work for me and, and you. You can't, as a teacher, get too prescriptive about technique, in my opinion. I think you just really do need to play a lot now it would be very very interesting i'd love to dig more into uh, ricardo's videos and find out how he approaches this i mean he's obviously spent a lot of focused time on singles i don't know about other rudiments i'm, I'm he's probably pretty damn good at other rudiments as well because singles are a building block for other rudiments paradiddles i still got a single in there and then you know, if you, if you can get your singles and doubles together, it's going to unlock all of your double stroke rolls, all of your paradiddle inversions, single, double, triple paradiddles, paradiddle diddles. It's going to unlock all that because they're built off those basic building blocks. So, yeah, I would love to know more about this uh, drummer and, and how he approaches it, how he structures his practice, because, boy, he's put some serious serious work into this now question for you if you're watching this is there someone faster than this have you seen a drummer who can play faster than this maybe you're going hey that's nothing you haven't seen this well send it to me send me a link hit me in the comments with uh, a drummer that is 
faster. Now, I should say, and I'm sure Ricardo wouldn't mind me mentioning this because, you know, it, it is worth saying and it is worth mentioning that speed is not everything. <laughs> now, I'm not saying this from a place of jealousy. I would kill for those hands. I would love to have access to that kind of facility without a question. But speed alone, right, is not everything. And also, again, without trying to make this sound like a critique or a jealousy, playing this on one surface is a lot different to, for example, playing this on a floor tom where the, where the skin is floppy um, or even a rack tom where, you know, just lo loose attention uh, be much more difficult and probably require a different technique to actually play uh, lightning fast singles. Now, I obviously haven't checked this player out on a drum kit yet, so it'd be super interesting. Trust me, he's gonna have facility all around the kit. I'm not saying that. He's gonna have tremendous facility around the kit. It's just uh, slightly different techniques required. And that's also for me where the technique thing falls over a bit. You know, I get asked as a teacher constantly, what's the best hand technique? What's the best foot technique? There is none. It depends what you're trying to achieve. You know, if you're trying to play fast bass drums or loud bass drums or quiet bass drum, it depends what you're trying to achieve. Your technique, if you're going to play a bossa nova, is different. If you're going to play Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin, it's just, it's just the way it is. You need to try out lots of things, different surfaces, and playing on drum kit so different to like marching drumming or or just playing on one surface because on one surface you can settle into basically one grip um and one technique because it's the the actual surface is always going to be the same tension or bounce rebound playing on a drum kit you get metal um you get snare which is typically a nice tight tension which is um you can rebound off, but then you got your toms, as I said before, which they're not going to rebound the same and you're going to have to dig in a bit more and use a bit more rust on those toms. So yeah, this is just, I just love this. It's just phenomenal. It's hard to believe the level of facility that some drummers end up with. Uh, it's just absolutely mind blowing. Thanks again to the anonymous PayPal uh, contributor who requested this. I really do appreciate your support. And uh, if you are watching this, uh, hit me in the comment section so I can pin your comment and say thank you properly. Guys, remember to check out the original video. Go along and subscribe to Ricardo Merlini. He deserves it. I mean, he's putting out some, obviously some great stuff. And if you enjoy my channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button and leaving me a comment with what you thought of this video or what you would like me to check out in the future. Remember, you can pick up your free 30 day trial with Dromeo. Just follow my link again in the description. Free 30 days to check out the whole of Dromeo, that, that impressive site, all the song transcriptions, learn off the best drummers in the world. It's good stuff and it's just cancel any time could not be any easier guys until the next video take care ciao